Poor Julia. I know. But almost, Julia's okay now. Yes, she is. She's like accepted. She's accepted everything. And she seems to be doing really well. We're stellar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You said not probably knowing a decent amount about like what you were in for, right? So, not, not at all. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're on episode four, and we don't, like, that's all, you know, we get the Well, I mean, like, in terms of, like, one of the books already being published and, like, kind of knowing where to be at, was, like, the show she was going to change it up. What were you told she was going to be doing Like, not in the We thought we were kind of doing so where do we find uh, Julia now? Um, Julia is... We all start the season as not ourselves. Um, we get to see a lot of Julia teams off. Uh, and sort of like in the linear timelines of what her life would have been like had she did go the route of Great Girls and that whole story. Which is kind of interesting. It's only like a little too long to see it, but you kind of get like enveloped in these other worlds for which is nice. Um, and everybody is sort of trying to, to bring that magic for like for the universal purposes, not not for for goddess power necessarily, but just for everyone. So everyone can kind of share this thing and it's not being held by the library. Which is cool. Do you think Julia is going to regret giving up her goddess powers to help her friends considering how much good she was doing with them? No, so far she hasn't, which is really cool and admirable. Like I admire her for that, that she's able to kind of like let it go and be okay and like give up this thing to see the that she loves. You know, has the mentality of I am an endless source of power and I don't need this to be great. I'm sure it's frustrating like on a trivial in a trivial way of like, God damn it, like I I I could be able to do all these like these things and this useful like I'm this useful source but yet like my you know my battery's out. So I think like as far as that works, like the brain part of that is frustrating, but I don't think that she emotionally is at all burdened by it. And like Estella and like what? Like you gave up being a goddess or you what? Like, you know? Like she's also good for her, I think. I We didn't get to start working together this season until episode three. But um, we like find each other again where it's like nothing ever changed. I'm always like really secretly really like, 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 I don't think it'll ever happen. You never know. You never know. No, I, I definitely yeah. not guessing anything on the show. Me too. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> if they had an ending like six feet under, they flash forward to the very end and you see them just getting married. They just been yeah, so bad. They're like old together. We've already died once. Yeah. Just a different life. Yeah. yeah. So obviously everybody just kind of uh, talked like, about where they're going with the character. If you could choose where your character was going this, this next season, if you were writing it, where, where would you take her? I would have taken her last season. I would have spent the entire season being me and Goth. I would have loved to make the dumb model, which is Goth and works, and didn't talk at all. Yeah. And just as an actress, like how cool would that be to literally not have a single piece of dialogue and do everything like with your face, with your, your body, face, with your body, with just like your energy. <laughs> man, Daniel Day, man, you know. Um, so I would have done that season too, and then this, you know, or this first season, yeah, that would have been season two, three, season two, three, and then. I would have had her become a goddess, and like I, if I were writing it, I'd like to be in Fillory, talking to birds, and have a bird as like a friend, and I would just be like in it. Like, you know, Lady Gaga, horror story vibe, like just, you know, wild. It's a great, a great touchstone to me <laughs> too. You know? So, Fillory is I just want to be in Fillory.
I'm done being the street person. It's not. <laughs> I grew up in New York. I'm tired. Like, take me to the magical forest. <laughs> the animals and the mushrooms. Let's go. <laughs> Election. Who would you vote for and why? Who was running? Um, Elliot was running, and then um, that Tony. Tick? Uh, tick. Yes, Tick was running. Tick, tick, and then they did a writing. Yeah, I know that's why that's <laughs> like, what got me thinking. Right. I was like, wait, I, 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 I wish Esme played, she played Why I'm in the Um, it would have been nice to have her. I don't know. I, she looks so hot. <laughs> I don't know because everyone's done such a bad job of <laughs> Hillary. It's like, the hierarchy is not true. Um, I guess I'd have, I would have had Clinton running it. He probably would make a great, he would have had that, he would have had it run through and protected the people. And been like political with it, you know? He wouldn't have been emotional. He wouldn't have made emotional decisions. He would have made the, I think, I think he would have made the how do you think Julia would have done as the High King of Hillary? As, um, as Lady of the Trees and a Goddess, I think she would have been great there. As Julia, <laughs> they just put her back to Brooklyn. It's like, that makes sense. What was your favorite episode of last season? I loved it so much. Um, to, to be a part, like that was my favorite. It was just so um, I can't pinpoint a specific episode per se, but the whole like the season was so like I really I believe it was the happiest I've ever been working for this I loved it. I thought they were really good. Oh, 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 the moving pieces here. There was a goal, and there was a storyline. And you're doing it. And that's what it should be. You're making your way towards something, or you're letting up the story unfold. It's constructive. No, it comes with you. I don't know where she is now. And I don't know, like, I don't, oh god, it's hard to judge her. It's like, where is she now and how is that? I think I was just in it. I don't know how they, I think they, you know, they wrote for it, right? But she just became less angry with it too. She kind of let go of a lot of it. And that made, made it easier to transition into something much like that. But now, like, I don't know what she is. I don't know what she is. Like, that's a, that's a good question to think about over the I have no idea like, where, if somebody were to ask me something more, like, where is she at? I don't know. She's like, oh, 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 she's